This video is about letting go. Letting go of things, not holding on to things, not necessarily holding on or letting go of physical things, but just letting go of emotional things. Every time I make one of these videos, it seems like when I say something like I'm today, I'm officially letting go. It really does happen. I made a video not too long ago that was called, um, that was something like standing in your own power, not caring about what other people think. And ever since I made that video, I've noticed that I have huge changes in my life and I've been sticking to that every time that something comes up that might bother me, I always remind myself to stand in my own power and not to put my personal opinions on others, which is what we really do. We're all just reflecting to each other what we believe. It's really not about the other person. But I remind myself since that video that I'm standing in my own power. So today I'm documenting on November 23rd that I am allowing things I'm letting go. I'm not going to chase after anything anymore. I'm not going to chase after maybe the friendships that I want in life. I wish that I had abundance of friends and I wish that I had um, a whole bunch more money than I have right now. I'm not going to chase after it. This YouTube channel, it's, it's an interesting thing because it kind of goes like this on the views and the money. <laughs> you never really know what you're going to get from month to month to day to day and Sometimes everything looks like it's going great and then the very next day it's just like your numbers will go boom <laughs> right down and you're making nothing. <laughs> so that's one of those examples where every time that happens I have to just let go and not let it bother me and just trust that I am taken care of. So let's talk about letting go. So you, of course, um, there's the whole letting go of stuff. We have a lot of stuff in our life, um, a lot of junk sitting around our house. Um, I try to be as minimalist as possible because I don't like all the junk. And I think having all the junk is kind of a distraction so we could let go of things physically. But um, I've let go of a lot of physical things. I don't have a whole bunch of stuff, even though sometimes, well, I am kind of going through a little bit of a cleanse of let's get rid of this item, this item, this item. I don't, you know, we go through those cycles and donate some things and get them out of our house. But um, what I'm doing right now is letting go spiritually. I am not going to chase after anything anymore. I mean, why do you need to chase after something? Why do we chase after something? Why do we chase after love? Why do we chase after people? Why do we chase after money? When we chase after things, things just run away. I feel like it takes a lot of energy to chase after something and I don't really want to use my energy of the what could happen or I'm working really hard doing something that I really don't want to do. I'm miserable because I'm holding on to something instead of letting it go. I mean, what's that saying? Let a butterfly go and if it come back or let something go and if it comes back to you, then you know it's truly yours and if it never comes back to you, it never was supposed to be anyway. I think when we let go of things in life, we can let go of anxieties, depression, worry. We hold on so tightly and want to have control over everything. And then we just get into a misery cycle, depression, feel horrible. Here's an exercise that I have actually been doing if you're struggling with letting go of things or spiritual things. So, you know, there might be something that um, you have to let go of. For example, I have to not worry about my money. I have to believe that I'm always going to have enough provided for me whenever I need it. Of course, it's important to make good money choices, but I make good money choices. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to buy healthy food and I'm not going to worry about how much it costs. When we do this, a lot of emotion can come up, like can we really afford it? Are we really worth it? Stuff like that. I think buying healthy food is very important because we're actually going to save money in the long run on doctor bills. But um, when we're holding those food items in our hand and um, 
we're experiencing those emotions of not feeling like we have enough money, those are the kind of things that we need to be aware of. And I'll actually take those emotions and explore like, why am I feeling this way? What's really going on? And sometimes I'll even take those emotions into my meditations, my daily meditations. And it seems like when I evaluate those things, there's a lot of truths that might come up that aren't true. Um, a lot of times when we feel confusion or when we feel um, pain, a lot of times I think we feel um, a lot of different emotions that aren't even ours. We just, you know, pick these emotions up from when we're a kid or the people around us. So I think it's really important to take our emotions and take our lack mindset into meditation and say, what is really going on here? Is this really me? Is this really true? Because we live in an abundant world. God is very abundant. The Bible talks about how we are abundant. And Abraham Hicks talks about how we are abundant and what we focus on just expands. So when we're in the grocery store and we feel like we can't afford something so we don't get it, it's like, well, what are you putting out there? And what do you want back? You know, and I want abundance. So I'm constantly practicing being abundant and um, knowing that I'm always going to be provided for. Well, guys, I look forward to seeing how my life is going to be changing over the next couple months since I'm letting so much go. And I know when you let things go, new things come in. We don't have to chase things. We can just be confident in ourselves. Don't give our power away. Be strong and know that everything is coming for you and everything is abundant and you know, everything's working out for our good. You just got to believe it and look for it. And when you're looking for it, you'll start seeing it. Hey guys, if this video was helpful for you, you know, it's just me out here in my backyard. The rain is raining. It's raining and it's kind of a little chilly because it's now Kentucky. Um, it's just me. I'm all alone. I never really know if these videos help people. So sometimes I don't make them because I'm like, do they really help people? Do they really make a difference? And I'm working on right now doing things that feel good, make me happy, and it really helps me feel good about making these videos when you guys let me know that they make a difference in your life. So if you feel like this video helped you, please let me know in the comments below because I would love the feedback. You know, I like to know that I'm talking to a real person. I'm not just talking to a camera. <laughs> All right, guys. Also, remember to like this video and share this video and subscribe to this channel. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.